Hello everyone, this is Simply Syrup coming to you with another video today on one of our favorite games, Clan Folk. Today we are going to be talking about how to properly take care of your livestock and maximize production. In this video, we will be going over everything you need to know about raising animals in Clan Folk. We will be leaving no stone unturned, and I'm confident by the end of this video, you will have all the information you need to run a successful farm. Before we jump into the content, I wanted to give a quick thank you for giving my channel a try and encourage you to consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel so we can continue to grow together. We will be coming out with more clan folk content soon and I hope to see you there. But before I take up any more of your time, let's get into the video. No matter which animals you are trying to raise, there are some basic requirements that have to be met in order for them to produce. Animals, just like your clan members, will need a warm room with a bed. This means you will have to build a fully functional structure complete with walls, a roof, and an appropriate entry point before your animals will feel comfortable enough to reproduce and provide you with their derivatives. Livestock will also demand food and water. Pro tip, make sure to store away an appropriate amount of food for the winter time or this video will be for nothing. More important than anything, your animals will need lots of love to grow up big and strong. Taking care of your farm animals shouldn't be a difficult task, but it does require a bit of planning, resources, and patience. In the next section of this video, we are about to go over the five different animals that can currently be raised in clan folk. I will provide detailed information on each animal type and what they can produce. I will also give a few tips to ensure that you are maximizing production. Just remember that each animal needs food, water, warmth, and an enclosed space with a bed. With that in mind, let's get into the different animals. Chickens are probably the first animal you will encounter in your clan folk playthrough. These little guys are incredibly easy to take care of and you should try to get them producing as soon as possible. Chickens will eat both grain and hay. Chickens come in male and female versions with the male being a rooster and the female being a hen. The hens are the big money makers because they are the ones that can produce for your clan. Hens will lay both fertilized and unfertilized eggs. Unfertilized eggs can be eaten by your clansmen and fertilized eggs will turn into baby chickens if kept warm. Unfertilized eggs are currently not used in any special dishes, but they do provide 1000 amount of food when eaten. Chickens can produce very quickly, and if you desire, it won't be very long until you have a chicken army at your disposal. However, it's worth noting here that since the rooster's only job is to fertilize eggs, you don't really need to keep more than a couple roosters around. They can either be turned into meat or sold for a decent amount of coin at 50 pieces of silver if they are matured and properly cared for. A full grown hen can sell for 75, but like we discussed earlier, it is much more beneficial to sell your roosters opposed to selling your hens. Next up on the list, we have pigs. Everyone's favorite barnyard animal, pigs are used to provide meat and extra leather. Slaughtering a grown pig will provide a whopping 60 meat and a bonus of 10 leather. Pigs come in two forms, with the male being a boar and the female being a sow. Pigs will eat both grain and hay, so make sure you have some extra food stored away. The interesting thing about pigs is that they can have more than one baby at a time. It's not guaranteed and I think the number of babies is random, but I've personally seen pigs have up to four piglets at a time. Unlike chickens, pigs will take a little while to grow up, although their pregnancy period is relatively short. A grown boar will sell for 80 coins, while a grown and fully cared for sow will sell for 180. Just like chickens, you will only need to keep one boar around and you can send the rest to the market or the chopping block. Pigs are one of my favorite animals to raise because of their massive meat output. 
There is no doubt that a prolonged playthrough will require a few pigs to get you through the winter once all of the mushrooms have disappeared. Another animal that I wanted to talk about in this video is cows. Cows will eat both grain and hay and are used to produce milk and meat. Cows are the biggest farmable animals in clan folk and thus require the most love. Cows come in two forms with the male being a bull and the female being a cow. Females will produce milk while males are only good for meat. If you would like to farm cows for silver, then a bull can fetch 150 silver on the market and a cow is worth 225. One thing to note about cows is their long lifespan and extremely long pregnancy period. I'm not convinced that it is better to have cows than to have a few pigs and goats, but do whatever you think is best for your clan. At any rate, they are fun to look at. Moving on to the next animal on our list, let's talk about goats. Goats come in two forms with the female being a nanny goat and the male being a billy. Nanny goats are the prize winners here and will produce milk for your clan. Milk can be turned into butter or cheese. Both butter and cheese provide 500 hunger and use 20 milk. However, butter also requires a bowl and produces 5 servings while cheese only produces 4. I'll leave it up to you to determine which of these dishes is best for your clan. Just like chickens and pigs, there is no need to keep more than one male goat around because their only use is to impregnate the female goats. Goats will eat both grain and hay, and a fully cared for adult nanny goat will sell for 150 coins while a billy goat will sell for 100 coins. The last animal we wanted to talk about today is sheep. Sheep will eat both grain and hay and provide wool for your community. Sheep come in both the male and female form with the male being a ram and the female being an ewe. Unlike other animals in this list, both the ram and the ewe can produce wool. Wool, of course, is used to make wool clothing which has a higher warmth rating than fur clothing. Wool can also be used to make plaid, which increases a villager's mood and looks fashionable. It would be a good idea to keep the same number of males as you have females to ensure that your ooze are continuously getting pregnant and producing more sheep. An adult ram that is fully taken care of will sell for 100 coins, while an ooze will sell for 150. Sheep are a pretty critical part of winter success and it is definitely worth it to keep a few sheep around. With the completion of sheep, it looks like we've thoroughly covered every animal in the game. I hope that I have answered any questions you may have had about raising livestock in clan folk. Although if you're still left wondering about anything, just leave a comment and I will be by soon to help you out. I want to take a moment to give a big thank you to whoever has made it this far in the video and remind you to consider subscribing to the channel because we will be coming out with more content soon that you won't want to miss. Also, check the link in the video description to navigate over to my Twitch channel, where we are playing the best games almost daily. Thanks again so much for giving my channel a try, and I hope to see you again soon. Until next time, this is Simply Syrup, signing off.